If you're tired of the standard business and marketing fundamentals, frameworks, and funnels, <laughs> you need a little mischief. Get ready to turn up the volume on the CEO Mischief Maker podcast, where you access conversations with seasoned business owners who have smashed through mindset barriers, innovated the standard boring business and marketing playbooks, and executed future-paced strategies with bleeding edge tools and tactics to micro fail their way into massive success and growth. We are Mindset Impact Strategic Catalysts, helping innovative entrepreneurs focus. We are CEO Mischief Makers. Ready to make a little mischief? Okay, it's Friday and Friday is my favorite day because now we get to wrap all this up. Everything we've talked about in the last two episodes and if you haven't listened to them yet, you must go do that. Uh, we get to wrap that all up in a beautiful bow and bring it down to earth, bring it down to the actual ground level, get in the weeds and see the actual tactics we can use to, as my amazing guest, Jose Bolaños says, fulfill your infinite purpose. So yeah. Tell me, Jose, how do you do that? What are some of the tools and tactics that you use to fulfill all the things we've talked about over the last two episodes? Okay, so the one part is, you know, develop that infinite mindset. Once we are connected to that infinite purpose and we're on this journey, we need to warrior up. We need to understand that life is going to throw stuff at us. So I believe that we need to be ready to respond to whatever life throws at us and start by giving that a name. We give whatever life throws at us a name. And I use the term VUCA. VUCA is an acronym coined by the U.S. military to describe the global context post-Cold War. They describe the world as volatile, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous. So the journey we are on is volatile, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous. There's more to it. There's entropy, there's scarcity, there's time constraints, there's tragedy. Life can throw stuff at us, and it does. It throws pandemics, it throws insurgencies, it throws change in laws, sickness. It throws everything. So we give it a name, VUCA. Why? Because by giving it all a name, it helps us prepare for it. It helps us manage it. So if life is throwing stuff at us from all over the place and I have nothing to name it, it becomes overwhelming. Yeah. So a client left me, my wife is sick, and now I got a flat tire. What the hell else can go wrong? <laughs> That's overwhelming. It feels like your whole life is falling apart. Mm -hmm. But if you categorize it as VUCA, this is all your VUCA. This is your VUCA. This is what life is throwing at you, and you got to be ready for it. So we need to name VUCA because it's practical. It's tactical to name it because now I can prepare for it. So when something, like if there was an earthquake right now, VUCA. And here in my country, that's pretty, like I've had calls. I'm like, hey, I got to go. There's an earthquake. <laughs> or... <laughs> The internet goes out, or you get a flat tire, or mm -hmm. something happens. You yeah. spill coffee, whatever it is, VUCA. So now we have a name for it. So now we need to train for it when you become VUCA capable. So we all have a VUCA capability. It's how much shit we can take, part of my French. Yep. And so we can all bring that up. We, we, in psychology, there's a concept called the window of tolerance. It's basically how much you can take without breaking. Hence the name of my program being unbreakable. So we have this window of tolerance, which is equivalent to our VUCA capacity, how much of life we can take. And we can actually measure it. And we can actually build it. We can actually expand it. And that's a lot of what I want to do with my clients is for them to not just develop an infinite mindset and connect to their purpose and meaning, but also warrior up and expand their window of tolerance so that they can be able to manage more of life without wasting unnecessary energy and from an optimal state. And there's no shortcuts. You need to train. You need to train like a warrior would train or an athlete would train. And this is where we start with the training methods. 
One of those methods is using stressors to build and expand our window of tolerance. So we use seven stressors, seven vehicles, triggers, cold exposure, heat exposure, fasting. So right now it's about noon. I haven't eaten a single calorie since last night. I'm on the edge of hunger. Um, strength training, endurance training. So whether it's lifting at the gym or doing longer cardio endurance training, like running or swimming or whatever it is, breath holding and over breathing. So over breathing would be things like Wim Hof style methods, rebirthing, the holotropic breath work. It's all the super ventilating, deep over breathing. Mm -hmm. On the other side, we have breath holding, which is building CO2 tolerance, uh, the oxygen advantage principle. It's a, it's a method, oxygen advantage, the TACO method. These are all um, breath holding and building CO2 in your system. These seven triggers, cold, heat, strength, endurance, breath holding, over breathing, and fasting, and we develop a curriculum for ourselves. I believe we need to be doing these things weekly. We need to have these incorporated into our lives, these stressors, these discomfort into our lives, but with the right intention. The intention is what gives it the power. So my intention is to use these stressors because I have a noble commitment, because I have this infinite purpose. And I'm building my strength, I'm building my ability, I'm building myself up so that I can better fulfill on my commitment. That's the intention. Yeah. So if I get in an ice bath, it's because I want to be a source of presence, and strength and transformation for others. If I'm doing fasting, same thing. If I'm doing training, it's all connected to my commitment. Expose myself to these discomfort, these uncomfortable things, because I want to be stronger in fulfilling my commitment. And when we make that connection, it really gives us this catalyst. It really makes it this, it really accelerates your ability to build resilience. So you're not just doing it to look good. You're not just doing it to feel good. You're not just doing it for wellness or mental health. No, you're doing it because you need this to fulfill this. Yes. So this isn't the end. This is the means to fulfill this end, which is the noble commitment. And that so we, I, I, oh, go ahead. I have to say, I'm sorry, I just have to interrupt you there because that I think mm -hmm. what we're what we're talking about is is something much bigger than yourself. So if you're still only focused on me, 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 I need more money, I need to look good, I need my health, I need whatever that is, I need to buy this house, I need this car, I need whatever. If, if you're still focused on just what you need, and even your family, my family needs this, it's all about yeah. me. If that's where you are, this won't work. If yeah, you are short. beyond, that's it. If you are going beyond yourself and you have a purpose beyond just you and your immediate needs and happiness, then this will help you, as Jose just said, warrior up and make the shifts that you need to make in, in not just your life, but in the, in, the, in the waves of the world, in the ripples of the world. That's so amazing. So let me ask you one question. Do we have to do all seven of them at the same time? Or we, can we kind of get into this a little bit slowly? <laughs> Yeah, you can dig in slowly. You can tailor it to your needs. You can, you know, you use it. There's a concept of the minimum effective dose, mm -hmm. which is the minimum that I need to provoke a positive adaptation. So I know that I don't have to get in the ice bath every day. I know maybe a bit, maybe at the beginning, but I know now that I can just once in a while go to it and check myself to stay to stay optimal same yeah. thing with my co2 levels you know i don't have to be doing it i could but i i do it spaced out but enough that i'm getting that i'm staying stable that i'm that yeah. i'm getting the benefit from them 
now it's important to say, you know, you have these seven hormetic triggers, but then you have three instruments that are very important that I want to mention because I have to mention them. And these are the three instruments that we need to learn to control, to control our state and to cultivate our trait. These are biohack tools. One is your attention. Attention management, attention training is critical for the warrior. For the noble warrior, you need to manage and train with your attention. And there we just invite people to look at anything that has to do with mindfulness, focus, Andrew Huberman. Uh, he has a podcast called uh, The Huberman Lab. He has a lot of a couple of episodes on attention management. But we need to become aware of how we're managing using our attention. Two, breathing, breath work, and everything that has to do with managing our breathing. Here, I recommend Jane Nestor's book called Breath, The New Science of a Lost Art, so that you can start becoming a better breather. And the third one is body. Here, I would recommend the book called Your Body is Your Brain. Also one called The Body Keeps the Score so that you can start become, developing a body intelligence. So we need to start developing our ability to manage our attention, to manage our breathing, and to develop body intelligence. And this is something that whenever anybody works with me, these are three things that we're, like, we expand on is attention management, breath, and body. So let, so let me put this together. You know, we an infinite journey when you, with our infinite purpose, uh, which becomes our noble commitment in the world. And then we have to train, like a warrior would train or an athlete would train to be able to fulfill on this commitment, on this journey. And we use hormetic triggers, like stressors, to build up our window of tolerance, be strong and capable of fulfilling our commitment. And we use these three instruments, our attention, our breath, and our body, as instruments that we need to learn to regulate and control to optimal. And so we put together this training methodology, which is the unbreakable method um, that I've synthesized for myself through exposing myself, through learning, through real life crisis, through real life application, through um, reading and philosophy, et cetera, et cetera. That's pretty much it. <laughs> pretty much it. So look at what we went through, this journey we've gone through from yeah. developing this infinite purpose. And that's all your mindset. That's all what your purpose is. And then yeah. bringing it down into being able to innovate these practices to fit your, uh, your, living that in infinite purpose, that you serving that in infinite purpose. And now we've just gone through seven stressors with three modalities to be able to actually bring that down and practice it. So this is a perfect example of taking this concept and breaking it into these three sections so that we can not just understand it, not just um, kind of connect with it, but really have a path to being a noble warrior who is unbreakable. This yeah. is so beautiful, Jose. Jose, thank you. Thank you so much for sharing this. Any last thoughts? I'm going to give, so just in case um, everyone listening didn't get those books or those resources, don't worry, we will have the, the resources available to you. Um, you can go to callmemkj.com slash Jose, J-O-S-E, Call me mkj.com slash Jose, and I will have those resources for you just in case you didn't get them or weren't able to write them down because you're driving or whatever. So don't panic uh, because I want you to have these. My challenge to you, everyone listening, is to pick, if you aren't doing any of those seven, pick one. Pick one and talk and look at, follow Jose, follow the things he talks about and be able to practice that to handle that stressor, to make yourself stronger and becoming a noble warrior and, uh, and definitely connect with Jose, uh, find him yeah. on all the social channels and, uh, he will be able to help you in all the content. I know I've been following. I love it. So what is your last 
give me a last uh, idea on this whole concept we've been talking about. Any last thoughts? You got to be VUCA trained or you're going to get VUCA fucked. <laughs> Done. Mic yeah. drop. We're done. That's it. That's exactly true. And that's kind of where our world is now, isn't it? I mean, you can look at social media and all the people that are diving into all of these fights. They are not VUCA trained, are they? No, they're losing it. They can, they can follow me. Instagram is my main social, social uh, network that I use. Noble Warriors Path. Or Jose Polanos. You can find me either way you'll find Noble Warrior's Path. Thank you. And, thank and thank you. you for the invitation. It's been amazing. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Okay, hold on. If your mindset was shifted, you were inspired to innovate, and you were spurred into action, don't just move on with your day. Focus, my friend, and take a few minutes to visit ceomischiefmaker.com to learn more about the value that was shared with you today. Please act now and create some CEO mischief of your own.